I have been inspired recently to continue just chatting from time to time about general information. Like stuff that just, it's not really advice per se, it's just here's how I did it in case you might want to do it this way. Uh, today I want to talk about tools, the tools I use right now and the tools I have used in the past um, to get to where I am today. Um, there are some things that really do come in handy. We're talking things like video editing software, um, you know, how do I do my thumbnails, stuff like that. Um, so let's just dive into that for a minute. So the first and foremost thing that you need to do any sort of content creation or streaming is going to be um, some sort of uh, program to record and uh, stream your sessions. So there are a lot of good free options out there like um, OBS is how I started. Um, that's just one example. There are other things you can use. Uh, Twitch has their own built-in thing these days. There's also, um, I can't remember the name of it now. There's multiple uh, versions out there. Matter of fact, I think it's on Twitch. When you're setting everything up behind the scenes, um, they actually give you a list of all these places that have streaming software or recording software. And it's really just down to you to pick one. Um, the most common is like OBS and then after that Streamlabs. Now Streamlabs used to be called Streamlabs OBS, but they got in trouble because they were using the term OBS even they weren't, though they weren't affiliated with or associated with OBS. They were just uh, another software that kind of tied into what OBS was doing. It's, it was weird. But it's just called Streamlabs now. I use Streamlabs. I used OBS the first... Oh, wow. Um, I think I used it for the first like five years of me just doing stuff online on my own. Actually, I used it longer than that because I was doing it for the other channel first. So like seven years just use, only using OBS to record and everything else. And then when I started doing this... Um, full time was when I switched over to Streamlabs and the reason is because Streamlabs has a lot of stuff that's automated because it's you can actually plug it into your logins for your chosen streaming platform so it functions great as just a video recorder like what I'm doing right now but also you know I've got multi streaming set up and and other things so all I got to do is click a live button and it automatically starts sending things to my places and I've got all these pop-ups that can happen on screen and you can do that in OBS but it's a lot more intuitive in Streamlabs. No I'm not sponsored by them this is just my general advice. Uh, you do need a license if you're gonna multi-stream but you don't if you're gonna do free. Just one. Just one stream you're good to go. So you don't need any money to get that one. So that's the recording streaming software. Um, thumbnails. No no sorry let's, let's not skip ahead. I don't have no I don't have show notes. Uh, film editor. Um, so I learned years and years ago with Sony Vegas Pro, and I can't remember how many versions ago it was. And I used that all the way up until, I want to say 2022? I think 2022, uh, beginning of 2022, was when I started using Filmora. Um, and uh, I do have a license for that as well. Um, but I used... Sony Vegas, you know, for years, that one has, you know, a cost associated with it. Um, but um, I was so happy when I found Filmora because it, it it's it's a really intuitive program for those of you who are, like, anybody who's new or anybody who prefers, like, drag and drop. Like, yeah, Sony Vegas has some cool stuff, and I've used it a lot over the years, but Filmora just feels way easier. They've got all sorts of animations built in, sound effects, VFX, um, uh, just all sorts of crazy stuff to help with production. And it's really it, really easy to use. And it's um, they've got a free version, but there are limitations to it. But if you're going to be doing this seriously, yeah, you, you need a licensed version so that you can just have access to everything. That's the um, film editing. I think the only other thing would be... Um, how do I do my thumbnails? And that's uh, Canva. So I've been using Canva since it came out as a as a um, product, and I can't tell you how long ago. It feels like it's been about 15 years. I don't think it has been. Um, it feels like it's been a while. Um, I, w I used it for our travel blog, um, for all of our travel stuff um, for years. I used to, used to use it for presentation stuff because you could go in there and actually set up your presentation slides. 
Um, and so it was like it was all these templates and everything already done for you. There's free templates. There's templates you can buy. So it's a la carte. They've got a membership option. They've continually added features to Canva over time, like the ability to record yourself in the platform, to be able to um, do video editing in the platform, to be able to... Um, I mean, it's just the list keeps going on and on and on. They just keep adding more features. There are people who make a living as full-time Canva designers, and people put out some really cool stuff um, um, in, in Canva. Canva has actually replaced Photoshop for me um, completely now. Um, I used to run Canva and Photoshop at the same time for many, many years. Part of that reason, though, is because Chris and I were still doing photography all the time. So I was running Lightroom, Photoshop, and Canva for production for all of our client work uh, when we were traveling, doing photography and videography and everything else. And then when I stopped doing that and left that behind, um, I just, over time, I think it's been... It's been a couple of years since I've had an active, might even be three years since I've had an active, no, it hasn't been, that's not true. So I ran, um, I had turned it off for like a year or two because I wasn't using it and then I did turn Photoshop back on again to, uh, along with Canva to work on the um, the tabletop module I did. This would have been 2021 into 2022 and then I once I finished it up, I turned it back off because I don't need it. Um, but Canva I use every single day of the week and i have used canva every single day of the week since they came out as a product it's been a long time um i really like them uh, they do some really really good things it's really easy to use it's all drag and drop all your templates are there it is online you know so you can't do it offline that is a con for some people but it's just such a powerful tool in my toolbox to do all of my stuff save all my templates it's you know there's a lot of cool stuff in there and you can do a lot of cool things. Um, and it is a more, uh, I think, streamlined version of just making thumbnails. It works really good for thumbnails. Now that, if you have an artistic flair, you could do a lot more in Photoshop, yes, but this is the budget for those of us, you know, who aren't artists. Um, you know, I don't do, I don't get super deep into it, you know, like I, I like making thumbnails, but I'm not an artist, so I don't do anything with lighting and shading and other things, you know, I just know how to make it look snappy, if that makes sense, and, and work, and I've made a living at it for a long time, so I think I've, I think I've figured it out a little bit. Um, beyond that, quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. Honestly, those are the, really the only tools I use. Um, for a long time, I used to use Buffer, uh, um, and I used Buffer for probably 10 years, which was a social media scheduling uh, program. They used, they, used, they used to have a really cool blog that they did, too, because they were a really cool company that went from a startup. They went through multiple phases of, of um, uh, investment rounds, and it was just cool to watch them grow as a company. But uh, I haven't used that in probably five years Um at least not since I, I went, once I stopped doing uh, client work, I just didn't worry about it. I think we used it briefly for the last startup I did, um, but not. I think I only used it at the very beginning, and then I was just like, it's easier for me to just do it manually because we're not doing that many social platforms, and I want to do different things on different social platforms. So, um, but Buffer was another one, and still is a good tool for me to recommend if you are looking for something to help you schedule out multiple social media blasts at the same time. Um, I know there's also um, Hootsuite, I think, is the other one. Um, I don't use either of those anymore, though, because I do everything, you know, I do everything because I'm there. You know, I'm on Twitter, it's X now, whatever it's called. I'm on there probably two hours a day just scrolling for news articles. Um, I'll use Facebook for news articles. I don't really use Facebook or anything else anymore other than R&D, like scanning for articles. And I'll scan, I never used to scan Reddit, but I have started to scan Reddit these days. But um, those aren't really tools per se, they're just websites. And that's really all there is to it. Um, it's mostly just the you know, video recording and streaming and then uh, being able to do some sort of video editing and then how to make your thumbnails. Once you've got that down, 
just choose your platform, upload, you know, YouTube, whatever, um, and go from there. So, um, I'm not really giving any information out by that, by saying any of that, you know, it's just, this is what I, this is what I did. This is the, these are the things that I've used over the years and it's, it's not really a secret. These are out there. Lots of people use different, uh, different types of things. So go forth, have fun, make good content, enjoyable content, entertaining content. I will continue to do the same and uh, work on all the other things that I work on. So if you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Uh, daily streams, just as I have time, uh, sometimes they're mornings, sometimes they're afternoons. It just kind of depends. Um, and other than that, I do a lot of videos here and also on TikTok. And um, yeah, follow along all the places. There's a Discord. Links are down below. We multi-stream here and on Twitch, so make sure to follow along on Twitch as well because I'm doing just chatting series over there where we're doing stuff like this. Uh, we're going to be doing more, um, you know, my R&D that I normally do on Twitter when I'm just scrolling for news. We're going to start doing that live with people, so follow along for a lot of stuff. Lots of growth in 2024, everybody. Cheers.